Hi there. Today I'm going to show you how to use the same participants from a previously ran study in a new project on MTurk. This is helpful if you want to have the same group of subjects over multiple time periods or if you have participants that you have previously identified to meet a necessary criteria. This can save you time and money in the future. Let's jump in. So here you can see I am on the Amazon Mechanical Turk requester page. This is the uh, dashboard that you see after you log in. Um, so you can see I have a lot of uh, batches uh, of existing projects that I previously ran. What you'll want to do to get to where we need to go, if you've already ran a study, that's great. Um, you'll To be able to do this, you'll need to have already ran a study. That way you could go through these steps that I'm going through in this video. So we'll go to manage here. And you can see that I have different batches that I've worked on in the past. However, we need to go over to the qualification types tab here. And what you'll want to do if you haven't already done something like this before is you'll need to create a new qualification type. Here, I previously had two different types of qualifications. So I'm just going to uh, select that. But what you'll want to do is type in your own name that you can use and a short description so that you'll remember what the purpose of that qualification is. For this, I'm just going to press cancel because I've already done that here. My description is completed survey at T1, which references time one. So now that I've identified my qualification type, I can come over here to the workers tab and actually select whether a worker is going to qualify or not. So I can click on this worker and this worker is already qualified. So you'll see that there for the first survey complete, completed survey at time one. So we could go to back to manage workers. We could select any of these participants from this list. You can see here now that this participant, you have not assigned any qualification types to this worker. So we could assign a qualification type. And from this, we could select the first survey complete and we'll need to assign a score. Now, if we're just doing this from whether they completed the first survey or not, you can assign any score. What I like to do is just do 100 and we can then assign that. So now this worker in particular has now been assigned the first survey complete qualification. We can go back to manage workers. And if you wanted to, you could download your CSV of recent workers that you've had complete a survey and you could quickly qualify workers that meet your specific criteria. And that is going to be very convenient for you because then you won't have to go through each worker individually. Since I have not ran a study in recent times, this would not be very easy for me to do. So now that we've qualified a couple of workers, we can go to the create and we could actually go to one of our other batches that we have, or we could do a new project. And from this new project, you can just go to create. And what we'll do here, we won't mess with any of the edit projects. You could do that on your own and you can look at my previous videos that I go through some of these things. But what we'll want to go to is to specify any additional qualifications workers must meet to work on your task. We'll want to add another criterion and you'll need to go all the way down to the bottom, scroll all the way down, and you'll see the qualification types that you have created within your own Amazon Mechanical Turk account. So here I would select first survey complete, and we would select our score because we've only used 100. Very easy to do, equal to 100. And then we could go and go further through this to design our layout, et cetera, et cetera. But that is how you add the criteria. So now that we've gone through all that process, you can see how you can use the same participants from a previously ran study in a new project. Now, if you have any questions about this, please feel free to email me at kt.manus at ttu.edu. Thanks. Bye-bye.